So the third example, which I'm going to show is a axial compressor. And as before, I put in the, the design point. 0 10.6 kilograms per second pressure difference 0 0.07 9300 rpm and we say okay we import the external component reverse engineer and axial compressor impeller say import load data and this time we will import not a solid model of the of the material domain. We will import a segment of the flow domain, right? So I want to show that we also can work with segments. And we start with the rotor. So we see here the segment of the of the rotor. We will make these things visible we need. So here's the, the rotor blade. And first what we select would be the hub contour. And second thing would be the blade tip contour. And now we extend. Now we extend. Uh, the clearance is lower. I think it's 0 0.19. So and now we extend hub and shroud at, outlet, at inlet and outlet. So this would be minus 10 and 262.4. And shrouded outlet, this would be, I think, the Z value is 40. And again, the diameter is the same, 262.4 enter. So now we have the space for our rotor and the tip clearance is defined and we can import the blade. Selecting leading trailing edge suction and pressure side and say map the main blade. So we see the blade, we see a one blade, right? Hub and shroud is fine. So number of blades, uh, the, this is the rotor, it's 71. But this you should know, these are numbers you should know. And I can go from this, what we learned before, immediately to a higher number of spans. So leading and trailing edge around it as we, as we can see here on the left side, right? It's a very slender profile, but we can just say now, yeah, update design. So because of these higher number of blades, it will take a, a little bit more time. And we see, and we see all the blades. And because these blades are not highly twisted, it's very, it's very simple. Uh, or, or, yeah, very simple to represent them. And you can ignore these warnings and say, okay, activate this. Right, and see it in the 3D model. And we get immediately our, here you see the, the representation of these of this model and for the model finishing we can add if we like yeah we can add a, a fillet which was again i think one millimeter on the hub side and then he creates the flow domain 
checks all the surfaces, creates a, a so-called solid of the flow domain. And, um, and we can check then when he's ready, we can check then the, also the quality. And adding the fillets is, is really a nice feature that we can have uh, really models again going for, for example, for, for simulation. You know, sometimes you start only with physical parts and you want to see and want to calculate a, a, a curve by CFD. So in here we would say, let's don't use the solid. We just check the solid faces to visible and remove the inlet and outlet. So then we see here also our, yeah, our fillet representation very close to the the existing model and then we, let me change the colors then you see it even better so right so this would be would have been the the rotor and we save the file for our demo and then I only would add, um, so this model has an inlet and an outlet stator. So the first thing I would, I would add the, the inlet stator, the inlet guidelines. So it would be import, reverse engineering. It's a stator this time, we import him. Low geometry. So this is the segment of the inland guide veins. Open this. So, and again, we will, it's the same procedure now. However, we have a hub and a shroud. So we go meridian. Uh, Invisible, and now we are first create hub and and shroud contour. Oh yeah, yeah. this looks not good. And we say okay. Good. Now we add a inlet stator import a stator import we load the segment of the inlet guide veins see what we have to see and now we're creating the meridian map tab and then map the shroud okay so this looks good and we see this will be with blades unshrouded and we in the blade window now. So we know it will be 37 blades. We know a number of spans, 11 would be good. Both would be rounded. And we add we add the blade. So now we're checking our blade. 
and we create we create our our model so here we go already a good representation yeah without fillets then we say okay and you see immediately the inlet guide veins or or added we set them active right renaming yeah we rename we can rename the models for example here uh, in cf turbo by saying this is the IGV and this would be the rotor. So you see here we have added the IGV to the to the rotor. And now we can also do the model finishing for the for the inlet guide veins. Inlet guide veins, model finishing, and we again do a a fillet and say okay and run. So now he does the same, uh, creating, checking all the surfaces making intersections, creating the fillets. And yeah, and that's in general the way how how we can combine and add also multi-stage or multiple components in one project. So this is the also very convenient when you build a two or three stage machine, for example, right? So here and we same way we remove the solid and we just add the solid faces to visible and remove inlet and outlet and we can see our our model with a different color So here, yeah, and we see besides this one and the same we have also for the, uh, what we already had here for the, for the rotor. And this is how in principle in general works um, the, um, the um, reverse engineering for, for axial machines. So it's, it's in principle, it's all the same, the algorithms. And uh, what you have seen here now, it's it's not only one component, you could also have several components in one project. And um, so, and currently it's it's no limitation what it's, um, when we talk about uh, impellers or status, vein status or unveined status. Um, so, so far volutes are not possible, but this is on our, our development on our development plan. Okay, thank you.